in 2000, a nasty virus called I Love You was spread out to more than 40 million endpoints and become one of the 10 most virulent computer viruses in the history. 20 years later, we thought that we would be a lot more aware about these viruses, but we were wrong. We? But I wasn't even born in 2000! Malware has evolved, being more sophisticated and still being very dangerous in different modern forms. Relax! That's why we are here. We are the InfoSec Defenders and we're here to learn you how to protect against malware. In this video, we are going to cover simple guidelines and break down what is malware. We will also deliver simple, funny and in very interactive demo videos of malware attacks and we'll also give a brief presentation of Sophos Home Premium Solution responding on such attacks. Stay with us and at the end of this video, you will be a step closer to become an InfoSec Defender. Hi there, it is George, the blue member of the InfoSec Defenders, the YouTube channel made for everyone who wants to get introduced with the latest cybersecurity threats and trends. If you haven't done already, make sure to subscribe to us in order to be the first to view our weekly episodes. So let's jump into our today's topic, I guess, which is about computer malware. This is a wide topic that we will cover in more than one video, including all different types of malware attacks that are out there. But first, let's start defining what is malware. Malware is a compound word consisting the words malicious and software. It is now used to describe any malicious software program that is out there and is designed to disable or take control of an endpoint without user's consent. And to do so, it uses malicious techniques to trick people. The most common types of malware are computer viruses, Trojan horses, ransomware, credential stealers, worms, bots, spyware, keyloggers. Oh my god, there are too many out there! But let's focus on the ones that are well known. Start learning about them and also start learning on how to protect against them. Before that, we would like to interact with you and we are looking forward for your comments relevant to today's topic. You can send us your comments in the video description below. Not again! Okay, I get it. I'm pretty sure you found the comments in the previous video disabled. We found a workaround about that, and that is Instagram. You will find a link to taking you to our Instagram profile in the description below, where there you can leave your comments and communicate with each other. So, I think we should go right with the video. That's right. Please connect with us on our social media platforms on Instagram and Facebook or even our website mentioned in the video description below. Now, the most common types of malware are the computer viruses, which are iconic yet harmful. They are a type of malware that earn the name because of how quickly they spread and by infecting other files on a disk or computer. Next up we have ransomware, which infects your computer, it locks and encrypts all of your personal data, and then you have to pay a ransom in order for them to go away. And then of course we have Trojans, which are programs disguised as legitimate files or software. Once downloaded and installed, they make changes to a computer and carry out malicious activities without the victim knowing of course. All malware attacks are activated by tricking people into clicking an infected file or clicking unsafe links, which of course put their computers at risk. Now, stopping malware attacks starts with people. Human intelligence is the primary tool to defending ourselves from such attacks. As we mentioned in our previous episode relevant to phishing attacks. If you haven't seen that video, then a link will appear on the screen right now taking you to that video. Now it's demo time. Let's see a simple form of a malware attack and how we can protect against it. You will not get away from me this time, Blue. 
I will send an email with a keylogger malware inside so I can infiltrate social media credentials. Okay, let's see what this email is. I just got a brand new. Oh, what? Who is this person? Why did he decide to s send randomly his summer holiday photos? Why? Oh, well, I guess let's go check this link out. Oh, okay, he must have made some mistake. Oh, well, I guess let's go ahead and go onto Instagram to see if someone has commented on our videos. Let's see what is new. And let's log in. Okay. Okay, let's go here. And what? Oh my goodness, I've been hacked. I've been hacked! Why have we been hacked again? Again? <laughs> so, let's take a look at what happened just there. We get a new email, and it's from a stranger. Why would a stranger send a random email to us? And it's about his summer holiday photos. Why on earth? Something is definitely going on here. But what if you're careless? then you should probably have an up-to-date antivirus. So when you accidentally click on the link, and there you go. We have Sopos Home installed on a system, and it blocked the threat. Let's go to the managed console, and then you can see the results. Okay, let's go to status right here, and there we go. Sophos blocked ICA, which is basically what we use in this demo purpose. So we we'll just press on this blue button that says clean, press clean again, and there you go, job done. If you don't know the email sender, you should be very careful and check all the tips that we mentioned in our previous episode about phishing attacks. It is more than important to have an extra layer of security, meaning an up-to-date anti-malware solution. That's the way you get protected when you are being tricked or being careless. You can find the link to Sofa's website on the video description below. From there, you can see some more information about the product. And also, if you'd like to buy it, you'll get a 30% discount on the regular price. As we mentioned during this video, our social media platforms are open. So in there, you can be able to communicate and interact with each other. You can also send your comments and tell your opinion about the new video that we're going to be uploading. I, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, stay secure and become an InfoSec Defender.